Welcome to Project Blizzard. I'm ABC 57 First Warning Neighborhood Weather Chief Meteorologist Tom Coombs, and this is ABC 57's Project Blizzard. Michiana is known for its winter weather. We have everything from lake effect snow to winter storms, bitter cold temperatures, and even blizzards. Project Blizzard is about winter weather education. Over the next 30 minutes, the ABC 57 First Warning Neighborhood Weather Team is going to teach you about the science of winter weather and how to stay safe during Michiana's coldest months. ABC 57's Project Blizzard starts right now. Many people dream of a white Christmas, but the holiday blizzard of December 2022 was more of a winter weather nightmare. The storm began the evening of December 23rd with a quick round of widespread snow. This was followed by a sudden drop in temperature, falling from the mid-30s to a low of 8 degrees below zero by the morning of December 24th. Michiana saw blizzard conditions with wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour and whiteout conditions during the holiday blizzard. The blowing snow and temperatures proved dangerous in Berrien, Laporte, and St. Joseph counties with numerous car accidents and road closures. During the holiday blizzard, ABC 57 meteorologist Dave Caulfield tracked conditions on the road in the ABC 57 mobile weather tracker as they happened. He learned firsthand over 48 hours just how dangerous blizzard conditions can be. I'm meteorologist Dave Caulfield in the ABC 57 mobile weather tracker, tracking road conditions as the blizzard bears down on Michiana. I think a lot of people, when they hear the term blizzard, think massive amounts of snow, what it looked like in pictures back in uh, the 70s here in Michiana. But for it to be a blizzard, it, really, you don't need to have that much snow. And that's what we saw with this holiday blizzard. Really, it's about the lack of visibility in the blizzard. And that was evident when we were driving in the mobile weather tracker. Safety was the number one issue and always will be in the mobile weather tracker, especially as conditions started to get worse. There were times on Thursday where we were experiencing near whiteout conditions with those uh, really strong snow bands that were coming through. We were going well under the posted speed limits. We were trying to gauge a, a lot of distance in between the drivers uh, that were around us and the mobile weather tracker. It was very difficult to drive once you got very far into Laporte County. And uh, then we saw that intense snow continue to the east, uh, closer to South Bend. Friday, the, the wind was the main factor driving and that made visibility very low. We went from road conditions being a little bit dangerous and especially in those more open areas, those cold temperatures, the wind all combined to create literal sheets of ice. Once temperatures get sort of below 20 or 15 degrees, salt does not become effective basically at all. Not much you can do except for wait for warmer temperatures because the, the things that you would put down, traditional salt or uh, things like that, actually just become additional layers for snow and ice to freeze to. And that actually makes conditions worse. So at that point, really all you can do is stay off the roads if at all possible. I was in the passenger seat in the mobile weather tracker and looked down at the road and I could have sworn that I was on a pond that you could have played ice hockey on. It was that much ice on the roads and it was extremely dangerous, especially later on Friday. It shows you just because, yeah, we, we really didn't get that much snow through the majority of Michiana. It was extremely dangerous on the roadways and we saw that for days after that snow stopped. The holiday blizzard debunked a common misconception about the term blizzard. With a blizzard, it doesn't have to snow or snow very much to be classified as a blizzard. Snow totals range from a few inches to a foot in some places, but the blowing snow and icy roads made travel dangerous no matter how much snow was on the ground. So was it a blizzard? The answer is yes. This storm checked all the boxes. Strong wind, whiteout conditions, and happening for multiple hours. In fact, we had blizzard conditions for what felt like days. This was a powerful storm system, what we call a bomb cyclone. What that means is we had a tremendous drop in pressure with that low pressure system over 24 hours or more. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. The stronger the storm, the stronger the wind. All these factors coming together. 
We had system snow that brought a little snow to the area, and then we had that lake effect snow, making things worse, especially across southwest Michigan. Heavy snow, low visibility, blowing snow, drifts, and then you factor in the Arctic cold, even just a little bit of snow stuck to all the roads, creating dangerous driving conditions. The Arctic cold was the final blow. Temperatures began falling below zero, making salt ineffective and causing roads to stay slick for days. Storms like this are typically rare, occurring once or twice in a generation.